Hi John, this is Terry Brooks with T. Brooks Web Design in Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Um, I wanted to uh, do a, as quickly as possible, a quick evaluation of your website and why I think it might be time to get a new website. So I'm on your website here, air, airhandlersmechanical.com. And, um, you know, it's, it's a fairly nice looking website. Uh, you know, a couple of, couple of things that I'm seeing that are a little bit of an issue is, uh, the page names, the page names are really important for, uh, search, for search ranking. So you want to make those page names descriptive describing the services that you do and possibly the geographical area. So if we go to say your heating and air page, okay, well, hmm, this is odd because your heating and air page, the page name is about us. Well, it's not an about us page, it's a heating and air page. So that's kind of odd. Same thing, energy and controls. Well, the topic is energy and controls. However, look at the page name. Why choose us? It doesn't make any sense. Now we've got a maintenance page. What the heck does that mean? About one C L Y E O, and the same thing with all the other pages. Now we do have an about us page, but it also includes a subdirectories, a, a, a sublinks underneath for more services. Well, why is design build and sheet metal? not part of this navigational menu. People are not going to look under about to find out, to find these additional services. Now design build, that kind of looks okay. I would kind of make that a little bit more descriptive. So that's the first thing that I, that I did notice about this website. Uh, everything seems to be working properly. Um, other than, like I said, those are some issues there. A big issue that I'm noticing, and this is this is a biggie, and this will really, really affect your search ranking, is page speed. That means how quickly your website loads when it comes up, and it's really in milliseconds, but Google does keep track of the load speed, and if it takes too long to load, you're going to be pushed lower in search ranking. So your page speed, your, uh, for, for your home page is, look at that, 16 out of 100. That is abysmal. And that's on a, that is on a, a mobile device. On a desktop, it's a little better, but it's still only 47. When we look at some of the reasons why this page speed is so slow, look at all this. This JS means JavaScript. There's a bunch of junk code in here. Staticparastorage.com, that's part of Wix. That's the Wix website. There's a bunch of junk code in here that you don't need that are taking up all this, all these resources. Your images, the images that are on your website are very large. They need to be compressed and they are not. Like for instance, the background of your website. If we look at this, this is the back, the gray background of your website. So you see that gray? That's this gray here. Well, you really don't even need that. I mean, why even, I mean, yeah, it looks kind of cool, but it's not necessary. And that image is not even compressed. It's taking up valuable resources. So, and there's a bunch of other third party code blocked. There's a bunch of other stuff that all, again, Wix issues that, um, this is kind of typical of, uh, of template sites, the, the cheap, the really cheap sites like Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, they're cheap for a reason, and you can see that they don't load very well. Another thing that's causing this website to load slowly is when you think that you're getting a template site, uh, if it's cheap, you think, oh, wow, it's a great deal. There's a reason why, again, reason why it's cheap. And part of that is a lot of these template companies like Wix use your website to advertise. Even though you're not seeing the advertisements on the website, it's embedded into your code. So we're gonna look at those ads, those Wix ads. So this is the coding of your website. You can, you can hit Control plus U to look at the source code of your website. You're not gonna understand any of this. A lot of this is junk code. But if we go down to say, okay, description, you're supposed to have a description tag. Well, 
Look at this coding. Look at this wording. What does this say? Hmm. Let me make this a little bit bigger. List your website instantly. Enjoy this exclusive offer to Wix users. Get listed for free on SMB Home Online, blah, 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 blah. Are you on the map? We show your top tier directories. So this is an, these are ads for Wix that are embedded into the coding of your website. So if you think that you're getting, you know, the, the Wix websites are really cheap, there's, there's a reason why. Um, because they're advertising on your website. Another thing that I, that is very important for website ranking is you need to have a page title and page descriptions on every page. So we're going to see what your description is on the home page of your website. Okay, so here we go. And this really should be at the top of the page. So the description is often what Google search results is is going to show for your website. And here we've got New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware HVAC commercial services, HVAC heating, cooling, maintenance, energy, chillers, boilers. That's not a page description. Those are keywords. Um, Google likes to see page descriptions that are made in in real English, like in a real sentence, rather than just a bunch of keywords strung together. So that's going to hurt you. Title, again, page title. Same thing, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, HVAC commercial services, comma, HVAC heat. That's not a page title. It's a bunch of keywords strung together. So site name, air handlers. Well, okay, well, that is your company name, but it's just these, these page titles and descriptions are really not, they're not set up the right way. And each of your pages should have different, title. So if we go to, say, if we go to your, well, your heating and air page, which is called the, actually, About Us. If we go there and we look at your title, it just says HVAC heating and air services. Well, what geographical area? I mean, that doesn't really help you. And you don't even have description on this page. So that's not really helping you either. Um, we went through the page speed. We already did that. Uh, some other issues this is a CSS validation service. CSS is the coding that determines how your website is formatted. And you can see you have a whole bunch of errors. Now, all websites are going to come up with errors because some errors are really minor, some are really serious. These are really weird errors and they are as a result of the junk coding that is in your Wix in your Wix website. So are these errors really going to hurt? They're not going to hurt your website ranking, but they could cause issues with you know, some display issues. Uh, same thing with HTML. HTML is a code that's used to build your website. Again, now you have a whole bunch of way more warnings and errors than you really should. Again, all websites are going to have errors. Even Google has its own HTML errors, but come on, we've got <laughs> it's a lot of errors in this coding of this website. Now this will affect your search ranking because Google, the, the coding of your, behind your website has to conform to Google standards. A lot of this coding does not. So all these errors are going to hurt you. Um, some other issues that I wanted to show you is what your website looks like. And um, why did I time out? why your what your website looks like on um de different devices so we're going to look at your website on a let's just choose apple let's say we'll say an apple 7 apple iphone 7. we're going to let that set itself up so you can see what that looks like going on to your website in google search results uh, I see that you have, looks like you have 17 pages. However, these are not all real pages because we see there's, there's some that are duplicate pages, but they're not truly duplicates. So we see here that is the same page as this page, but when you go to it, it, it takes you to, I don't even know what it's taking you to. It's taking you, oh, it's taking you to the light box. Okay, well that should, 
That's a really weird way of handling that. I've never seen anything like that. That's very strange. Um, also, if we type in Air Handlers Mechanical, of course your website's going to come up. But here it's showing that your company name is Air Handlers Mechanical with a space between the air and the handlers, which you might think, okay, that's no big deal. It's not technically your company name. However, as far as Google's concerned, Google sees air handlers, one word, as a totally different thing from air space handlers. So that's kind of going to hurt your, your search rankings a little bit. And again, uh, now in your, uh, the Google search results or the Google map area here on the right side, it's spelled correctly, but here the phone number 888-324-9338 is different than the phone. Uh, where is the phone number on your website? Uh, Oh, well, here it is. <laughs> That's another issue. The phone number should always be at the top where it's easy to see because if it's buried in the middle, people can't really see it. So you've got a different phone number here than you have up here. And that can cause issues too because Google likes to see everything to be, everything needs to be uh, uh, exactly the same across the board. So your company name, your phone number, the areas that you target, etc., they need to be be the same in Google and all of your different um, listing sites that you have. Another issue I want to mention too is the way Google works is you're trying to target New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Delaware. It's not going to happen. You can only target one geographical area per page. When you're trying to target more than one, Google's going to choose one area but you might not even rank in that one area if you're trying to target too many different locations. So say if we put in, I'm going to put in New Jersey Mechanical here. Okay, so we're going to do a search for New, New Jersey Mechanical. And you should come up. But if I do a search for your website address, Air, okay, so Air Handler. I'm not going to type in the whole thing, but we're just, here we go, airhandlersmechanical.com. Okay, we're going to type that in. Okay, we see zero results on page one of Google. Let's try page two. Zero results. Let's try page three. Zero results. And, you know, um, once you get beyond page three, forget it. You should be coming up at least for New Jersey Mechanical, um, but you're not. And I tried this actually with a couple of other search terms, and you didn't come up either. Another issue is... You, even though you might work in all three states, you have to think about how prospective customers are going to be searching for you. They're not going to search by state. Uh, if there's a company that's located in, say, I don't know, we're going to say uh, Morristown, New Jersey, they're not going to search for a New Jersey or an NJ mechanical contractor. They're going to search... Um, Mechanical Contractors 08054, or Mount Laurel Mechanical Contractors, or, or, or even Burlington County Mechanical con Contractors. And they might not even search for mechanical contractors. They're probably going to search for the specific service they're looking for. So they might say commercial heating services or commercial air, condition, air conditioner repair. So you have to be really, really specific and very detailed in how you present those search terms on your website. So uh, if you want to rank in different areas, you really need to have different landing pages for the specific areas. So you would have a page, say, for, for he heating repair in Philadelphia, um, air conditioning uh, services in Burlington County, New Jersey. Uh, uh, you know, uh, let's see, we've got, well, these are probably not, main, not your main services, but say boilers in... Delaware. I mean, Delaware is a, a small state. So you really need to be a lot more specific in how you present that. So I think that I've gone over the basics. I mean, there's a lot more that I can go over, but you're probably already overwhelmed with... Oh, here we go. Okay, so here is our iPhone simulator. And you think, okay, that looks great. It's, you know, everything's fitting in there. But keep in mind that an iPhone is way smaller than what you're seeing on this screen. So, and I brought your page up on my own mobile phone and 
I had to pinch and zoom to see everything because everything is really, really tiny because the website is, it's not technically mobile. For, <coughs> the website is not fully responsive. <coughs> it's not really mobile friendly. So if you look at it on a phone, you're going to have to pinch and zoom to see everything that you want to see. And most people are not going to want to have to do that. So you, your website really needs to be mobile friendly, fully responsive, so that it reformats itself based on any device and any screen size that in any browser that a person uses to bring up the website. So I think that we have, that I've covered pretty much everything that I can for the most part. These are just the, the you know, the major things that, that I noticed. So my contact information is, and you have to excuse my, my nasally voice because this time of year with the ragweed, my allergies are going out of control. So uh, again, Terry Brooks, T Brooks Web Design. My website is tbrooksweddesign.com. I work mostly with contractors in New Jersey in the tri-state area, a lot of HVAC companies. I'm, I'm familiar with the industry, um, the terminologies, how people are searching for your services. Um, since you are targeting uh, commercial clients rather than residential, there is kind of a different way of doing that as well. So um, please feel free to give me a call or text me anytime, even if it's in the evening or over the weekend. My phone number is 609-914-1318. I'm located in the Mount Laurel, Lumberton area. Uh, you can call or text me. My phone number and website address are also underneath this video. So um, just reach out anytime if you have any questions and I hope to talk to you soon. Have a great day.